These baby birds are leaving their eggs and joining the world. They broke out of their eggs using their egg tooth. Never heard of an egg tooth? It's something that birds and reptiles have. Egg teeth are crucial to baby birds, also called hatchlings, because these bumps on the end of their beaks are used to break out of eggs. So what else is different about baby birds? Well, hatchlings can find themselves alone when they're born or with as many as 16 brothers and sisters, depending on which type of bird they are. How fast they develop depends on the species of bird, but all baby birds go through the same basic steps. Hatchlings may spend anywhere from a few hours to a few days breaking out of their eggs. When they do break out, the hatchlings are almost totally naked. They only have some fine down covering their bodies. And often, baby birds don't open their eyes when they're first hatched. Baby birds need to be fed about six times a day when they're less than a week old. Once their eyes open, they eat three to five times a day. And once their feathers start to grow in, two to three times a day. Most kinds of birds are biparental, which means that both the mother and father birds take care of the babies. When they're a few days old, hatchlings turn into nestlings. Nestlings have grown more down on their bodies to keep themselves warm. They may open their eyes and they'll start growing flight feathers, which are feathers that are strong enough to help them stay in the air. As they get bigger, the nestlings become fledglings. Although they're still babies, fledglings have nevertheless grown wing muscles and more flight feathers. And fledglings may even have flown a few times, but they still need their parents. Fledglings move awkwardly and can only fly for short distances. Fledglings turn into juveniles. These are the teenagers of the bird world. Juveniles completely leave their parents' nests and can feed themselves. They are fully feathered, but their plumage isn't as bright as an adult bird's, and they don't have many markings. They cannot reproduce. But unlike teenagers, a young bird goes from adolescence to becoming a subadult. Subadults are young birds that are stronger and older than juveniles, but they're sexually immature, so they can't reproduce yet. They look a lot like adults, but they still don't have plumage that's as full and brightly colored as an adult bird's. The fully grown birds can have babies of their own now, so they find mates and the cycle begins again. Breaking through their eggs with egg teeth and learning to fly, that's what baby birds do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.